this video, we are going to talk about current and future directions in AI Wolf. So I have here with me Professor Hirotaka Osawa, also from the University of Tsukuba. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Hirotaka uh, Osawa, and, and I'm an uh, assistant professor of the University of Tsukuba. I'm uh, one of member of the AI Wolf project. So how did the AI Wolf project start? This is a very old story, <laughs> but yeah, AI's uh, project starts uh, from the discussion and the study about uh, uh, online wealth games. So uh, the professor Toriyumi and the professor Inaba is uh, doing uh, uh, research about uh, uh, AI wolf game in Japan and uh, analy analyzing the uh, log data of the uh, online wealth game. Then, then uh, they uh, started to analyzing the, what kind of the strategy is good or, or bad. And, and then uh, they uh, just thinking that uh, this kind of study will be also good to creating the AI of, uh, like a, a wealth uh, agent that plays a human uh, with a, a agent. It's very curious for me that not only the student, but also several companies are trying to using the wealth game for the uh, programming studies and so in that kind of step so many researchers uh, now discussing with the wealth game and studying about it and uh, domestic uh, symposium of the uh, Japanese uh, society of AI the artificial intelligence now having a special session for the AI of games and oh. uh, more than 10 presentation per year oh, wow. is corrected yeah yeah, uh, in Japan, uh, the AI, uh, AI Wolf is a very active project. Uh, right now, there is not a, not so many papers in English, but I have prepared a small bibliography that will be together with the other materials on the on the tutorial. So everyone who is watching this, make sure to check out the bibliography and please work on your additions. So, how did you come up with the first version of the AI Wolf protocol? Uh, one of the reasons to making a wealth protocol is to dividing the two programs. So uh, analysis for the natural language and analysis for the logic. First version protocol is planned by the uh, discussion with the Professor Toriyumi. And with the discussion, uh, we plan to embrace the uh, uh, wealth uh, game uh, communication with a simple protocol. We are analyzing the uh, mostly the online uh, communication in the online wealth games, and more than uh, fifty percent, uh, fifty percent, less than fifty percent of the communication is uh, con constructed very simple with very simple communication. So we replaced the, these kind of communication with a simple protocol, like saying uh, I am here or uh, estimating who is uh, someone uh, you are aware of or something. So in the latest version is version 3.6 and you have added logical operators. So now you can do uh, sentence A and sentence B. Uh, you also have agreement and disagreement. So it's much more complex than version one. So what was your goal with this newest uh, protocol version? Okay, uh, the uh, latest uh, protocol has a uh, uh, yes, uh, some kind of the recursive uh, inclusion of the uh, okay. several estimation. For example, the, uh, I, de I request uh, someone to make uh, some uh, inspection to the others. And these kinds of uh, things is very natural in the web game. Like, uh, I yeah, see. I think you are here, so you, I, I want you to uh, estimate uh, someone's uh, right. role in the next day. Yeah, th th that's very interesting because when mm -hmm. I played uh, Werewolf in a BPS, mm -hmm. we had the wine in front of me. I think what you say is lying. I think you are lying. But you think, you know that I think you're lying. So you lie about lies. So I know that you think that I think that you're lying. So I think that you're going to lie about your lying about your lying. So have you seen an agent do that before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same in the online communication. And that's a very critical point, I think. Yeah. Estimating others. What estimating others? What uh, others estimating me? And what estimating others, uh, me are thinking about others? Or this kind of recursive uh, inclusion is very important factors. And, uh, and I think that uh, in my estimation, it is also very uh, critical uh, to 
uh, estimating the uh, cellular mind uh, yeah. and the artificial intelligence. So for representing these kind of intentions, so uh, this kind of recursive representation is very important. So uh, we including several logic operators uh, for uh, do requesting someone or estimating someone and yeah, in this version, uh, we have a wildcard uh, inclusion for the each sentence. So, uh, to requesting someone to estimating so, uh, someone's role. But if you don't want to uh, request uh, any specific person, so you're just using the wildcard for do that. So, uh, so it means that uh, if you are here, I want to uh, estimate someone uh, on the, this kind of discussion. But I will also request you about the who is. Uh, uh, who you want to uh, estimate. So uh, these kinds of suggestion and uh, implication is also possible in the, this kind of version. So wow. I really like what you talked about the theory of mind. So that brings me to the next topic I wanted to talk about, which is the AI in AI Wolf. Mm -hmm. So one topic that is very popular is estimation of roles. So one the oldest paper I could find in English was a paper about estimating roles from the play log. And at that time, they were using just probabilities. How much werewolf said this? How much villagers said that? Uh, I think that this is a very basic stance for estimating the role. It's the uh, same as humans. So it's a, because uh, some of the werewolf is making a more aggressive attitude to others to yeah, uh, making uh, some others as a world to pre pretending. Uh, so this kind of the basic communication estimation is important. One kind of the uh, clever uh, algorithm is uh, first and second winner of the where uh, project and okay. uh, called the Udon project and. Uh, the, and uh, the programmer is uh, estimating the world not only by the one uh, player's talk, but also uh, the, this AI uh, detecting the, who is cooperating each other. So it's estimating pairs. So maybe yeah. A and B are werewolves together or B and C are werewolves together. That's very cool. I know from the competitions, another very cool player is Cash. I think he won the competition two years ago. Was that is that right? Yes, it's right. And uh, he he's also uh, using the yeah machine learning technique. Uh, right. He uh, also estimating roles, but also estimating the program itself. And uh, because of, uh, the in where game, so uh, the there is a set of the player, uh, fifteen players in the one side games, and uh, there is a one hundred game is repeated with the same players uh, sets. And in this uh, sets, uh, the, each player can learn the, who is, uh, is the others. And uh, the cache doing the, some kind of estimation that uh, during the estimation, uh, they get the result of the, what kind of agent is doing a behavior and uh, then estimating the, what kind of the uh, behavior is appropriate to think that uh, it is where well and it is a prayer of a or prayer b or something yeah uh, there's another paper that i read, read recently from your student O, that he used uh, evolutionary computation to try to evolve indirect communication can you talk a little bit about that yeah, uh, the, uh, our study's motivation is to making a shrink in the world game to finding uh, what is a critical communication here. And then uh, we have studied about the research for the three players' world game. This is okay. a very critical situation. Uh, one villager, one werewolf, and one seer is here. Okay. Yes, one night, one boat, yes. And seer already knows uh, who oh. is a werewolf, yeah. And, but she uh, doesn't know how to tell uh, the Shia is me and to the villagers, and this is a problem. And uh, we found uh, that, uh, that uh, even though the protocol is defined on here, but uh, with the evolutional uh, simulation uh, finds that uh, uh, during the speaking uh, evolutional process, they use in the communication is a different way. And oh, okay. the, the, uh, is uh, rising the implicit meaning of the communication. For example, uh, yeah, if I am here uh, to say others, but it means that it was village actually. These kinds of, yeah, uh, meaning, uh, estimate, meaning shift uh, is 
happens uh, inevitably and uh, if the both player is uh, competing. Yeah. I would be interested to see if agents that play for a long time could develop their own language. So right now, the user, the programmer has to write, okay, if you think that he's a werewolf, you have to say this. If you think that he's a villager, you have to say that. It would be nice to have the, the agents learn that from zero. Yeah, yeah, that's a very interesting idea. And actually, uh, in the first uh, time of projects, we also thinking about this kind of notion. Uh, for example, uh, we didn't define any protocol of the agent, okay. but uh, just a binary communication makes uh, some kind of evolutionary process to, to each agent understand what it means. But uh, it is very hard situation for humans to analyze what is happening here, right? <laughs> yeah. right. It's a very yeah, cool, cool, cool task called uh, yeah, a natural language evolution study. It's very the, cool. But the robots well, analysis. are just zero, one, zero, yeah. one, zero, one, zero, one. Yeah, yeah. We're dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't understand what is happening on here. So, so okay. yeah, so that uh, we make uh, some artificial protocol to, for humans to analyze it, yeah. In my uh, understanding, so this kind of implication is uh, shifted. Uh, language shift is inevitably happened if uh, there is a competitor in here because uh, someone want to deceive uh, someone but want to tell us around to the real meaning. And right, that's interesting because in this case of the language evolution, they are not all collaborating. There is one deceptor in the group, so the deceptor maybe wants to disrupt the language. I, uh, we explained about uh, this kind of shift uh, with the generation shift of the meaning and the papers and 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 also there might be some kind of shift of the, for example, the polite representation is uh, shifting during the year. So I think uh, this kind of uh, uh, language shift is a very attractive tamer. But uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, we uh, only doing the three players where game and maybe more need a more future work for this kind of study. I just want to talk about the AI Wolf competition. So the AI Wolf competition has been has happened six times now, I think, four times in Japanese and two times internationally. Is that right? Yeah, right. Yes, uh, and actually there is several mini competition and oh, really? uh, two times in yeah previous years. But yes, it's uh, at least six years annual co uh, competition. I think it's very interesting to see the the interesting agents that come. Uh, the agent that I thought it was most interesting was one that used multi-armed bandits. So this agent, basically inside the agent, it had a copy of the winner agents from other years. And it used multi-armed bandits to see which of the winning agents was winning more often. So it tried the first agent 10 times, the second agent 10 times, the third agent 10 times. And based on this information says, okay, for this group of people, I want to use the third agent. I think that, uh, yeah, Marsh Bandit uh, approach is also attractive to me for, uh, yeah, to this strategy, because uh, this is also the uh, famous where Freya is doing the same approaches, because uh, most uh, skillful where Freya is leading other opponents uh, environment and uh, what kind of representation would be more effective to others. And they can shift, uh, change their strategies very uh, appropriately according right. to the, yeah, uh, the environment. And that might be a very good yeah, strategy. I think that the meta running is a very yeah, good. Okay, so in the AI Wolf project, uh, it's not only, of course, AI, but interaction. One of the goals of the project is to be kind of a Robocop where humans plays against agents. So I know that your research is mainly about this human robot interaction. So what do you think that we can learn from studying the interaction between humans and AI in werewolf? I think that uh, this is a very critical point for our study. And uh, because uh, if we are only focusing on the, yeah, how AI is winning uh, during the evolution, so it means that uh, we cannot play with them. <laughs> yeah, this might be right. an over human strategy. And, and, it's not and, fun. And yeah, 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 it's not fun. <laughs> and also, it might be not appropriate to evaluate thing. Yeah. Uh, our uh, so social skills with our society. And, and this is a very important point. And, uh, I'm a study about the human agent interaction and uh, I'm uh, focusing especially about uh, how nonverbal interaction is influences 
about the people. And uh, one kind of aspect is using robot, uh, like uh, this kind of the robots. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a very cute. So these robots, they play, uh, they, they play werewolf? Well, yes, and, uh, yeah. Uh, they also using the several faces on here. Yeah, right. Yeah, it is projected, and the but the, uh, and there is also a several gates uh, motion on here, and also the several tilting motion to reproducing the several indirect uh, so implication. Can, can you get a little bit to the side? I can see right in the front there is one yeah. that looks a little bit sad. <laughs> and the other one in the back, maybe he looks a little bit surprised. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, they find, uh, yeah, aware of <laughs> In actual experiment, we're doing this to, uh, using the same AI uh, agent, but using the different kind of representation on here. Oh. Uh, one time, so uh, the agent talking uh, some meaning with uh, gazing your uh, face directly. And uh, in other cases, uh, uh, agent uh, talking with you with uh, seeing other uh, direction. Oh. And uh, we are analyzing the, this, how this kind of uh, effect uh, would impress to the users and the level of the honesty or the level of the uh, anxiety or some kind of the factors it changes according to the communication. And uh, we also found that uh, yeah, there is several difference uh, about the uh, prayer's movement. Uh, for example, the uh, some where prayer or the where side prayers makes a more inner side uh, uh, movement. Okay. But uh, some the honest prayer like a seer or something make a more uh, open uh, open style mm. communication. That, and this is uh, some is a little, but there's some kind of differences on here. So maybe right. these kind of things would be very important to how to impress people to express. Yeah. Maybe. You can teach a robot to 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 look very trust trustworthy, so the robot can maybe sell used cars to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, also, uh, I think that uh, it is also possible to uh, make a, some uh, training set for humans. Right, right. Uh, doing the wealth game, but we are now running how to make a better communication on here. <laughs> yeah. Talking about uh, op uh, position, I found a very interesting paper that is about a huggable robot, a robot that you <laughs> hug while you play werewolf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a study uh, with uh, Osaka University and okay. uh, main researcher is uh, uh, Hideyuki Takahashi and okay. he's a clever cognitive scientist and uh, his plan is to, yeah, uh, as a werewolf uh, game uh, attitude is uh, uh, good to evaluating how each people is believing others. And mm. he set up the special uh, situation of the wear game yes. and evaluated uh, yeah, behavior with hugging robot to talking with a hugging yes. robot or just using uh, yeah normal style communication. I saw in the paper that when the players use the hugging robot, they trusted much more than when the players used just the, 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 the communication. So th that means that if the robots want to take the world, uh, they have to hug people. If they give hugs, then they will dominate the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and some of the researchers doing uh, yeah, several approaches, uh, this kind of dialect interaction, touching interaction is very impressive and very uh, persuasive for the others. And, but these kind of things is very important, basically, in the, yeah, how to improve in the communication with the human and robots. Yeah. What about natural language processing? Is there a lot of research on natural language processing in AI, AI Wolf? It was growing from the second, or, yeah, I think, second uh, competition, and uh, the, it is uh, going uh, mainly with uh, Professor Kano and Professor Inaba. And uh, this uh, direction, uh, yeah, we don't use uh, uh, the almost all pro platform is the same. But uh, in the protocol, we don't use uh, not use uh, artificial protocol but using the natural language. Uh, I was actually one of the judges for the NLP competition, and I saw that one of the categories for judging was style. So uh, it seems that there is a lot of effort in producing agents with different styles in the uh, AI Wolf NLP division. Uh, the evaluation is one kind of problem, especially in the natural language branch. And uh, we evaluated now uh, five uh, different factors, uh, the naturalness of the presentation, and also the context, uh, straight uh, logic on here, 
and also uh, the logic is appropriate on the gameplay and also the have a character uh, style maybe on here. Uh, for example, the yeah, Canis Lupus is playing like a detective on the mystery. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, so every representation is very attractive. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, also uh, yes, uh, the, for example, the Udon player uh, is also interesting about the. Uh, explain uh, others and why I did it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think you are well because yeah. Uh, cool. I saw yeah some kind of things in here. Yeah. We talked a lot about what research already exists, but let's talk a little bit about what kind of research could there's. I mean, there is still a lot to be done in AI mm -hmm. world. So, what do you think are the most promising areas for research in AI world. About the uh, uh, competition game, so uh, the, each agent player did not uh, make a, uh, the possibility of the protocol, uh, not yet. Uh, most of the protocol, uh, uh, we can describe, any, uh, now we can describe any kind of recursive intention or the, some kind of analysis on here, but uh, most of the agent is still using a simple right. protocols. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, we want to know uh, how the, each agent would uh, make so these kinds of possibility of the representation. Uh, right, that's, uh, that's very important. If the agents are very simple, there is not a lot of information to learn, right? And if one agent communicates, if most agents communicate of only simple sentences, the agent that is communicating with complex sentences cannot get information from that. So we need more agents that can use complex sentences and complex thinking. That's one thing that is interesting about the werewolf game when compared to the other games, that in Air werewolf, it's not enough if you are good. If the other players are not good, the, play the game is not very interesting. I think that uh, this kind of flexibility is a very important. And also uh, we are now implementing the werewolf game uh, site to uh, register the wealth uh, agent to mm -hmm. battle with humans and 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 also uh, we can make uh, some kind of estimation to uh, how the ai agent would possible to fight with other ais and also fight with other humans and okay this kind of differences be very attractive theme yeah. uh, it would be nice to have maybe a turing test of ai wolf you don't know if you're <laughs> playing against werewolf against robots or humans yeah the, we can make our yeah very good uh, ai of the prayer so it also deceiving the yeah uh, humans that's uh, we are human they're talking about yeah okay. and that's a uh, yeah one kind of variation of the turing test but most uh, yeah good variation might be right. yeah because where game is a uh, very good skillful yeah uh, ability is required right? yes mm -hmm. Okay, I think uh, that's all from me. Uh, do you have any final comments for people who are taking this tutorial? Yeah, uh, I think that uh, uh, there's several multiple aspects of the wear of game. And uh, of course, uh, competition is a very important factor on here. But uh, for example, there's several uh, approach for the physiological detection with uh, several uh, yeah, hand, hand uh, sweat or the, some kind of brain activity or yeah this kind of aspect is one kind of important thing and also uh, there are several uh, analysis for the multiple communications online and some of the text is uh, using uh, yes but there's several international community of the web game so that might be a maybe have a different approach to apply on here and uh, I think that the uh, yeah, wealth game is a kind of communication game and several multiple aspects of communication is possible to apply. And uh, there are several yeah, robotics researchers and virtual agent researchers and also the social simulation researchers, language analysis researchers and physiologists and psychologists and cognitive science. The every kind of people is now collecting in the wealth game. So that's very attractive here to making a interdisciplinary research and also let's join us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very okay. much for your. Yeah.